cigarette butts, plastic bags, and soda bottles. You don't have to look hard to find litter lining our roadways, sidewalks, and threatening our waterways. I think in general, most citizens don't want to litter, but 80% of all litter is intentional. Some people have a deep abiding respect for the natural beauty that was once this country. And some people don't. People start pollution. People can stop it. I have many faults, but littering isn't one of them. For many reasons, I've always been constitutionally unable to throw trash on the ground and walk away from it. I simply cannot do it. I remember exploring the woods as a kid and finding tin cans, bottles, or spent plastic shotgun shells, things someone else had left behind. I took them with me to the nearest trash container. If I found trash that was biodegradable, like food products, I usually kicked the garbage under a rock or buried it in a nearby hole. But one way or another, I had to do something with somebody else's litter, a habit I continue to this day. I was on the beach with my wife, and near us I noticed a group of young people, late teens and early 20s. I was reading a book and looked up after the group had left. To my disgust, I noted that the sand area around where the group's blankets had been was, you guessed it, littered with half-emptied plastic bottles, numerous pop cans, paper, and plastic wrappers. Now I ask you, why are these young people so cavalier about littering? Who failed to teach them that the environment is a delicate balance given to us by God? And how did they reach the cusp of adulthood and not learn that littering hurts us all? I believe littering is an act utterly without redeeming social value. Littering yields no positive side effects. Littering is pollution. Littering is inconsiderate, immature, and irresponsible. Littering is destructive and at times dangerous. Littering is an affront to the beauty and function of God's creation. Littering is quite simply wrong.